Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. We got some uh, snow last night. Actually, a little bit coming down here and there today as well. I uh, thought I might do a video on uh, putting the backhoe on and also kind of show you what everything looks like when it's white. Um, and so I'll kind of pan around here. I think I've shown uh, the barn and whatnot before down there. And to see it all. Sun's out, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna pull the tractor out, take the uh, garbage cans down to the road. Oh, the garbage guys might come tomorrow. And, um, and then see if we can get the backhoe on. But I thought I'd give you a scenic tour of the white it's pretty cool Got up to the top of the hill, and uh, I'd show you up here. Looks like when it's all snowed, covered, and cedar trees, building site. Everything looks so pure and pretty when it's white. Um, I don't think I talked to you yet on video about it, but. Speaking of electrical, uh, yesterday on our video, uh, this is the box that we're gonna replace. It's an old meter box that they kind of converted to a switch box. And uh, it's already failed once uh, since my mom, or since I bought the property from my mom, we had to repair it. So we're gonna take that out, put a new box in. And uh, looking forward to that being uh, pristine and new and clean so anyway Yeah, the road doesn't look too bad. Kind of see where we're at. Hey guys, so I talked about doing a video on hooking up the backhoe. And so basically getting started on this deal. Um, first thing I like to do, well, I took the, just took the chipper off. So I got that stored away. And um, stored away on the dollies like I've shown previously. Next thing I do is um, basically get the back of the tractor prepared for the backhoe. Because getting back here and doing anything uh, is a little tight once the back goes on. And there's also a few things that are kind of um, can be in the way and whatnot. So uh, one of the things I like to do is put the cap back on the PTO drive. And uh, it just screws on, but it keeps the dirt and other crud out of, the, out of that area. So you get get junk in there I think it's gonna make it hard to get the PTO on uh, at least that makes sense to me uh, next thing I uh, do is take the top link off um, you can you can get the backhoe on with the top link but it kind of interferes with the seat a little bit 
and it's just better not to have to worry about it and it's pretty easy to take off so just do that next thing I'll do is um, I'll get these uh, three-point hitch kind of back uh, pinned in the position because I usually pull the pins when I take the chipper off. So I'll get it pinned back up and uh, and then I'll go ahead and lift it obviously to get it up out of the way. I pretty much put it all the way up in the upward position. It's gonna be a little, little bit difficult to show once I start uh, hooking up the backhoe I think because it'll be kind of dark. But these uh, two hydraulic feeds right here, these are the ones that um, I hook the backhoe into. So we'll uh, start backing up to this bad boy. I've had great success doing it and I've had not so great success doing it. I've had it take 15 minutes and I've had it take over an hour. So it definitely helps if you have a partner to kind of spot for you because there's like three places that it hooks on to the tractor and um, it's definitely secure once it's on but it can be a little bit tricky. I don't know if you could see uh, this little, I guess it's kind of a ramp sleeve or whatnot, but the uh, part of the backhoe frame slides into here and then pins go down through these two slots. So that's that part's pretty easy getting that lined up to go in. Um, it's the front two uh, frame hooks, and we'll show those here in a bit, that are a little more tricky. Um, and of course it has to be level to go into those. Um, I'm hoping that it'll become easier, that the tolerances will relax a little bit once it's been done a few times, you know, like the paint will kind of wear off in spots and maybe the metal a little bit too, and it'll kind of slide in better. Once it's on, it's awesome, but getting it there or something else. So you can see that it's basically lined up. Um, it's sitting all the way on the ground right now and I need to back over like almost perfectly center over it and then I'll hook up the hydraulics and lift it off the ground before I start trying to back it onto the tractor um, but the of course the only way you can lift it off the ground is with the hydraulics so uh, we got to get it close enough to hook up the hydraulics get it off the ground kind of get it lined up and then um, hope for the best as we uh, position it on so hopefully this will be a a short how-to video and it'll be wonderfully perfect and easy to do but you know how that goes so we'll see what happens next Hey guys, so uh, now what I need to do is hook up the hydraulic lines and uh, lift the backhoe off the ground. And one of the things you have to do in order to connect the hydraulic lines to these two bad boys right here is you gotta release the pressure uh, in the tractor and uh, in the hydraulic system of the tractor. And so the controls for controls for this unit are right down here. And for this side, for the left side, is this one. So you just move these back and forth a few times. In theory, releasing the hydraulic pressure on those lines. And then we'll try to hook them up. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, then there's another trick. And we'll probably get to that one next. All right. So another thing that I do, if I can't get the hydraulic lines on, is I'll get a block of wood like this one. And um, 
Hopefully you can see this, but I'll take these caps off the hydraulic lines. Those are designed to keep the dust and dirt off, so you want to keep those on, from my understanding. But anyway, the hydraulic lines have these little things sticking out of them, uh, little pointy parts, and uh, you just I just push down on them, and it relieves onto the wood, so it doesn't hurt anything, and it'll relieve the uh, pressure in the in these lines. Um, and sometimes it'll actually squirt out if it's if it's uh, compressed, you know, or has a lot of pressure on it. But it didn't do that today. There's a little bit of a drip, but not much. So we'll pull these caps off, these dust caps also, to keep the dirt and junk out. They just hang. hard anybody to see anything but okay feels like they're both in they're tight and i saw the little spring slip back so now we have a hydraulic so we can lift uh lift the backhoe up and um get it ready to go on and as i indicated earlier the first step will be to um get it to slide into this spot here and the other uh, locks or catches are up front I'll show you those so you can see down here this is the other catch and it hooks onto here on both sides so that can be tricky and I can already see that um, I'm not quite straight on because there's more of it on that side of the tractor than on this side so Sometimes I can kick it a little bit, but I'll wait till I get it uh, lifted up. Alright guys, this was what I would call a successful one. Didn't take too long. Um, this video, or this section of the video has been running about 11 minutes since I moved the camera to this spot. That's covered pretty good for me by myself. Um, you can see uh, here that uh, getting in this slot, 
got to get it the perfect right height. And uh, same with over here. You got to get it perfect height so these pins can go in. And I hope I'm showing you guys this. Uh, those just drop in and then you throw the pins on the bottom. Uh, put those pins in, but um, almost made you think I knew what I was doing. Um, actually went pretty quick and I'll give you a... I know there's tricks to it. The dealer offered for me to come by and they'd show me on and off and whatnot. I've looked at videos online. A couple other dealers have done videos online, but they have a partners helping them and anyway, they made it look really easy. Um, but it's on as far as in position, I just need to lift up the, uh, the downriggers and the bucket and which is no big deal. Um, the reason I'm putting it on today is because it's pretty wet and snowy outside. Um, but also, um, I'm going to be digging out for the slab extension and um, a couple other things, hopefully, to save a little bit of money. So I want to get the backhoe back on. I just wanted to show you that. Like I said, I need to put those pins in and um, lock the backhoe in place and whatnot. But that way I can actually back it further into the shop and give give my bride a little more walking room and whatnot. Um, I don't think I've mentioned uh, on the channel, um, but I wanted to thank all the uh, support of all the folks uh, while we're going through the housing deal and all that. Um, and I mean, I realize there's lots of challenges in life and whatnot. Um, and looking back on some of those, you always think, you know, that was a good experience. I grew from it. And of course we'll grow from this, but when you're going through it, it's different. So I appreciate all the words of encouragement and, um, I feel like I have a lot of friends following us and cheering for us. So that's helpful. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, putting on the backhoe and uh, I'll talk to you on the next one.